And and I have to tell you, yes, P if Nia is something that um, has been really big in Boston for about 10, 15 years, and it's big in other parts of the world, and it's starting to grow in this area mm -hmm. now. And so when my students talk about Nia, they usually say it with like Nia, because like it makes you feel like that. It's a physical mm -hmm. form of fitness that just feels good. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it blends it blends the dance arts, the martial arts, and the healing arts. Mm -hmm. um, so it blends um, jazz dance, which is all about that pop, 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 pop that show womanship. Mm -hmm. And then it blends um, modern dance, which is about bringing shapes into the body. So playing around with lines and playing around with circles mm -hmm. and rising and falling. Um, and what does that mean from a health perspective? And then it also brings in what we call Duncan dance, which is based on the teachings of Isadora Duncan. Duncan. And if oh, you know yes, Isadora Duncan, yes, yes. I mean, she was all mm -hmm. just about heart space and childlike play. And so it brings in that element of the dance arts. And then it brings in the martial arts, which has that strength feel to it. So, you know, it deals with the Taekwondo, which is that very ha huh! kind mm -hmm. of feeling to it. And then it brings in Tai Chi, which, you know, drops the center of gravity and has you move in a more sustained kind of manner. And then it brings in um, Aikido, which is mm -hmm. about spiral, so moving mm -hmm. from center mm -hmm. and then moving into center in a spiraling motion. And then it also blends the healing arts, which is the Feldenkrais technique, which focuses on sensation. So feeling, you know, what mm -hmm. are the sensations in your body? Um, and noticing those as a way of moving forward into health. And then it also deals with the um, Alexander's technique, which is about movement from the head down, mm. and yeah. um, yoga. And sometimes yoga is very literal, like we'll get into child's pose, mm -hmm. and it's a literal representation of yoga, or it's about conscious movement. So mm. it's about moving your arm. So for instance, if I say raise your hand, mm -hmm. just raise your, raise your arm, just raise your arm. This yeah. one? Right. Okay. So now if I say reach for the stars, it's a whole different right, a whole, feeling, uh, uh -huh. conscious movement. And it's a whole different feeling. And um, Nia incorporates a lot of imagery mm -hmm. into it, you know, f just for that perspective. Because, you know, you can just move your arm, but there's right. no connect there. But when you can move in conscious movement, the whole body comes into it and it's systemic. And so it blends it into this barefoot boogie. And really, it's, it's about the joy of movement, which is the first principle in Nia. And so if it feels good, keep doing it. Um, if it doesn't feel good, stop and tweak it until it feels good. So if you show up in class and your energy level is at a level one, dance from a level one. If you're in an athletic mood, mm -hmm. dance from that athletic mood. You know, it's the goal in a NIA class is not to move like me or to look like me because you can't. You mm -hmm. know, we have different body types, right. we have different histories right. associated with our movement qualities. Mm -hmm. So there's no way you're going to be able to look like me. So, you know, I mean, I often felt in traditional aerobic classes if I showed up, you know, if I didn't look exactly like the instructor that I was somehow failing or that mm -hmm. I didn't I couldn't get it right or I was uncoordinated where Nia gives you permission to have your own movement qualities and to get physically fit from that perspective and so everybody in Nia class looks different even though we're all doing the same mm -hmm. kind of movement phrase everybody's doing it in their own way and so it looks different and so that's when I know I've done my job is when I can look around and everybody's in their own space doing their own <laughs> thing with a smile on their face and doing their thing because mm -hmm. that's what it's about and then losing weight and mm -hmm. gaining balance and flexibility and agility and mobility you know it, it offers all the traditional fitness things but um, in a fun package and a really fun whole holistic, connected, fun fun package. So. Well, in terms of knee, like I know with elders, they do the, the yoga. Mm -hmm. What about elders or oh, people with disabilities in wheelchairs? Can Have you worked with people who are wheelchair or scooter users? Can they do it mm -hmm. from, from that position? Absolutely. And I just actually met somebody in a wheelchair yesterday and invited her to class. Mm -hmm. And so um, it really is, it depends on your body. Mm -hmm. So if we're doing, you know, something of our body, you know, it mm -hmm. doesn't mean that if I'm up here, that doesn't mean that you have to be up here. Mm -hmm. If raising your arm is here, that's great. Then that's what it is for you, and that's mm -hmm. what it should be. Um, but actually back, um, maybe going about 10 years ago, I, I actually, um, uh, was a director of a wheelchair dance company and and that's what led me into movement therapy actually oh. I was working at a school for kids called the Mass Hospital School out in Canton oh yes and I it's a res that. yeah it's yes, a residential yes, yes, school yes. for kids in wheelchairs with um you know a slew of different disabilities but um I was, a, you know, I've been dancing since I was two. It's something, you know, I always knew it was going to end up in a profession. You know, I thought I'd be on stage performing, but that's not the way that it went. <laughs> um, and I'm glad for it because, uh, you know, I, I love my work. But mm -hmm. when I when I initially started teaching dance to the kids, um, I would do a pirouette and I would say, okay, now you do a pirouette and show me what that looks like for you. And they would do that, but 
so much stuff came up. There was anger, there were tears, there were body oh, stories. Yes, 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 yes. And it was not at all what I expected. And so here I was with all of this stuff like, oh my God, I, I don't know what to do with this. And so, you know, we dealt with it and, and we moved on. Um, but it, it taught me a huge les lesson about how um, I like to say that your issues are in your tissues. And so, you know, tissues being muscles. Absolutely. And that they can get triggered at any time. And so I think the body, you know, to honor the body is huge. And so, yes, long story short, yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think people of all abilities can, can come in and do a NIA class. It's just, you know, it's just a matter of stepping into it and honoring who you are, um, regardless of what your ability, and not feeling like you have to make excuses because, you know, you don't look like everybody in the class and, and just doing your own thing.